everybody. Today is going to be uh, just a little bit different than anything we've ever done before, but we just felt led to come on and um, really just pray and just seek God and just worship and just share what He's um, just revealing to His people and just really just the heart of God. Um, I even shared in a recent video how God was speaking to me about um, prophecy and prophecy just being really just releasing God's heart and just sharing God's heart and so that's what we're going to do today and um, God has just been speaking to us about a David generation and um, I'm sure if you're someone watching this or listening to this it probably resonates with you but just to start out I wanted to share just a picture kind of a vision that God gave me um, <clears throat> I saw David <clears throat> and he was slouched over on the ground and just he looked weak and powerless and like he didn't have any strength in his body and what I saw was I saw his arms were kind of kind of they kind of looked weak and um like they were kind of just slouched out too and in his right hand there was a sword that he was loosely holding and, and the same thing in his left um, he was loosely holding a harp and I saw a dove like the Holy Spirit fly over to him and with his beak he grabbed the sword and he he lifted it up and as he lifted up David stood to his feet and it was as soon as he stood to his feet, he started charging forward with the sword pointed straight at his enemies. And it was it was almost comical because it was like a cartoon that I was seeing. This whole thing looked like a cartoon, but um, in his left hand, as he charged forward in his right hand with the sword, his left hand was playing the harp. And it looked completely effortless. And... I saw musical notes of all sorts of colors just coming out of the harp. And as he was playing and as the as the music notes were, were going out, they were going out like arrows and they were just like, they were just completely repelling the enemy that, w that was trying to come at him. It was like they just had no power. It was like they looked, they looked fierce at first and then when the music notes started hitting them, they started like shrieking and becoming very afraid and they were like there was nothing they could do they were just it was like they had these javelins they were trying to throw and as soon as those music notes were were penetrating it was like the javelin was just thrown to the ground and their eyes just got super big it was like again it was like a cartoon if you can imagine that and i just believe that right now we're just we're just in a moment in a season where there have been so many davids in, including us including myself and just including us in our marriage and my wife where we've just there's been just this ambush of the enemy to just make us feel lethargic and to make us feel unmotivated and to make us feel like we just want to drop the the weapon that's been in our hands you know the guitar that's been in our hands the piano that's been at our fingertips the drums just the instruments our voices the enemy is wanting to make us feel inferior he's wanting to make us feel heaviness and guilt and shame he's wanting to make worship feel like feel like a responsibility and pressure rather than just a freeing thing and that's because God is really he's anointed our voices he's anointed our hands even as even as uh, David played his harp and the evil spirits left Saul the enemy knows that there's power and there's authority and what we release is the sound of heaven and it's just something that he's tried to shut up for so long but I just hear God saying that he's reviving in the David generation he's restoring the, the tabernacle of David through a David generation those people who would just have hungry hearts to just seek him with all of their heart with all of their mind with all of their soul with all of their strength he's wanting to redeem that he's wanting to restore what the enemy has tried to steal for so long and tried to muzzle He's ripping that off of his prophets. Even, even as he called David in the word, he called him a prophet. It's those prophetic people who just usher in his presence through just humble-hearted worship. Just to him and to him alone. 
And so today we just want to release over you just a David anointing to just break every yoke. We just thank you, Lord, that you break every single heavy yoke, God, that's been put upon your David generation and upon your worshipers. And we just release a sound from heaven right now just as your grace and your anointing just falls upon this word and upon these people listening. We just thank you, God, that it just ricochets in the spirit and that it would just be piercing light just piercing through every veil of darkness. We thank you, God, that your arrows of light would just shatter every single demonic oppression, every single demonic spirit that would try to come against the voice. And we just say right now, eagle voices arise in the spirit. I just thank you, God, that you've set a fire in these voices to just be untamed, unafraid, to just be bold, and to just tear down every single accusation of the enemy, every single lie, God. We just ask you sovereignly to just take those things away, Lord, and just reveal Revive, just revive the spirit of these Davids, revive the voices, and I just even see just the spirit descending like a dove upon these Davids, and I just thank you, God, that it's your spirit of peace. It's, your, it's just your Father anointing to just say, that this is my David, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. receive the spirit of adoption.
dismantle the enemy, to dismantle everything that tries to exalt itself above his name. His name is above every name. His name is above Jesus. I hear the Lord say that he's even over-equipped us. The, the word calls us more than conquerors. And David was equipped with five stones, but it only took one to bring the giant down. And God says that you are even over-equipped for this job. You are over-qualified even where you haven't felt qualified. You are more significant even when your voice has felt, even when your voice has felt completely insignificant. God says there is power and authority you've not tapped into, but it only comes by by releasing your sound. It only comes by uttering your voice and just opening your voice even when you don't feel like it. Just casting off that heaviness, that spirit of heaviness right now. Put your hand on your belly and just say, Living water flow. Every person is watching this. up signs and wonders in, in the lives of these Davids and the lives of, of these people and he just wants us to receive that right now just receive just receive that he's doing something that's breaking forth it's breaking forth through all of the heaviness and all of the pain Lift your voice, lift your hands with us, and just speak over the David generation that would just raise to take down every giant, every single giant. We just thank you, God, for commissioning your David to have been, who have been stuck in the pasture. Lord, just commissioning those Davids to take down the giants, God, the giants of abortion, God, the giants of sex trafficking. Lord, the giants, the, 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 they're these people, Lord, who seem insignificant to the crowd, but they're the ones, Lord, that will speak your heart in every, every single area of influence. I thank you for just sending them into spheres and into mountains and into regions of influence, God, where others are not willing to go. So send you David's forth, send you David's forth, by the power of your spirit, release them, Lord. Send your Davis forth, send your Davis forth, by the power of your spirit, release them, Lord, release them, Lord, release your Davids, healed up and ready for the battle. David doesn't run from conflict, he runs towards the lion, he runs toward the bear, and now he's running toward the giant, he's running toward the giant, he's running toward the giant, running off his head, he's running toward the giant, he's running toward the giant. Is this that we try to defy?
David to know the heart of the Father who spent time getting to know him, getting to know his voice. You are not insignificant because you know the heart of your Father. You are not insignificant because you spent the time with the sheep, guarding those who God loves and who God cares about. And being willing willing to take on the lion, to take on the bear, to take on the giant. So we just release that over a David generation today, God. We thank you that you have blessed us. You've blessed them and you've blessed us. We thank you, God, that you're increasing just in abundance, Lord. In every area, in finances and in relationships, we just thank you, God, that you would raise these Davids up. To just be all that you've called them to be. No more inferiority. No, Lord, no more loneliness or hopelessness or heaviness. No more hope deferred. No more orphan mentality or orphan spirit. No more victim mindset, God. Release your Davids. Release your Davids, God. wherever you're at just receive that into your spirit the anointing of the David generation to speak to sing to pick up the instrument again to prophesy to not be afraid to not give in to the fear tactics and the intimidation of a Philistine who's come in the name of the enemy to try to defy the living God there is no authority and there is no power in that David was cast out by his brothers. He was mocked by his brothers. Even for those who have just been misrepresented and, and, and just, you, 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 you haven't seen yourself the way God sees you or others haven't seen you the way God sees you. They, they've just, they've come to mock you or misrepresent your motives. We just cast those things down in the name of Jesus. We call them done. Healing and restoration yes. to every heart that's been hurt by the church. And just on behalf of those people that have misunderstood you and the people that have slandered your name, that have drugged your name through the dirt, I just dust you off and I just say, pick up your sword, David. Pick up your harp. Pick up what's in your hand. Pick up what the Lord gave you. I speak healing and restoration. Forgive those people. Forgive those people. It might not be the easiest thing to do, but it's the thing that will bring bring you into your purpose. fulfillment that you know. It's the only way that you know how to live. And so we just right now just commission you to just go and be the David generation that he's called you to be. To slay the giants. You're more than a conqueror. You've been over-equipped by the power of his spirit. The same spirit is in you that raised him from the dead and took down every single giant, every single lion, every single bear. Because nothing can defy the God that lives inside of you. Yes, and you're wild and you're undignified like the Lion of Judah. And you worship in spirit and in truth. Even if you look foolish to some, that's okay. Because you, your fear is of God, it's not of man. Shake off the fear of man. 
Let the reverential fear of God come back to your heart to be all that he's called you to be. Just be raised up by the Father right now. Let the Father raise you up. Ask him to. Even where you haven't had leaders to show you a good example of that, ask the Father to father you in that and to show you, to show you how to be who you were called to be in him so that you can be effective in the Spirit, so that you can live out your purpose in its fullness. also showing me that how David honored Saul even though Saul saw after him and pursued him to take his life David didn't do the same thing so what we're to do is to speak life and to pray for the people even the ones that have hurt us the ones that don't understand us the ones that have rejected us God is going to show them God is going to show them. There's people that are beginning to be hungry for the real thing. That are beginning to thirst and hunger after just the true relationship with God. And not all these systems and man-made religions and empires built by man. The world needs something real. The world needs something raw and authentic. And he's called you to be a bridge. He hasn't called you to disassociate with the church as we know it, but to be a bridge to the new thing that God is doing, the new wine that he's poured out. and we just thank you for the, the seal of your Holy Spirit and just do these things in us we just come into agreement with what you have and we just come into agreement that you're our Father you're pleased with us and you've anointed us for such a time as this in Jesus name Amen well we love you guys and thank you for joining us and we just pray peace over you and that we just thank you that we just thank you, God, that you're just breaking these things off of us and off of these people. And so we love you guys, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>